and this is not a tutorial by the way i'm not a professional this is my who would even take me as a professional in the first place <laughs> hi guys and welcome to my youtube channel so as you can tell by the title in this video i'm going to be dyeing my hair and the hair dyes i'm going to be using are from this company called bramod i got this um hair dyes from shopee i actually bought four of them these three are in this color dark golden brown that is a six three color and i got one in the shade lightest blonde i was initially just going to dye my hair with these three but then i thought my hair is already dark colored and if i use the dark brown it won't actually come out really well so i decided to add this shade the lightest blonde to make the color you know a little bit brighter so i'm going to be using these three i'm going to be using two dark golden brown and then one lightest blonde the developer i'm going to be using is from the same company brand mode and this is the 40 volume developer and i have my gloves then i have my <laughs> mixing bowl and the mixer itself and i also have my vaseline so the first thing i'm going to do is i will detangle my hair and then i'll get back to you guys later So I'm done detangling my hair and then I've seen people who dye their hair usually put like Vaseline on their edges or like round their hairline. So that is what I'm going to do. So I'm done applying the, the Vaseline and the next thing is um, mixing my hair dye. So I'm going to be mixing this um, two colors together and this is my mixing bowl <laughs> okay so i've changed my mind i don't think i'm going to be using this lightest blonde anymore because this is a lot i don't can you see it's a lot in here and then i'm going to still add like a developer on it so i don't think i'll be needing the lightest blonde i don't have anything to measure this developer so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to eyeball. <laughs> I'm going to eyeball it. And I I feel like this video is going to be a very big fail. So I'm just going to put the developer in, in this. I feel like um, when dyeing your hair, is it better to pour too much developer or to put less? Ooh! I put too much. There's too much of it inside. <laughs> I put too much developer inside here. It's almost. Oh, this is a fail. I know this is going to be a fail. It smells really bad. This is what it looks like. Ooh. 
It looks like something you can eat. Don't eat it, please. Don't eat it. Because the smell is really awful. And if this touches your tummy. So I'm done mixing it. And the uh, instruction says to apply from somewhere here, mid length, to the tip of your hair. And then wait for 20 minutes and then apply the rest to your roots. So that is what I'm going to do. And I have my what do you call this i have my gloves yeah these are surgical so my gloves are on let me mix this again this is it this is it wait <laughs> So I've applied this mid length on my hand and then if you can see it I'm done dyeing my ends now so I'm going to also dye my eyebrows I'm just going to take a little bit and by the way this doesn't like it doesn't hurt my eyes you know how when you apply dye it's like it makes your eyes watery this dye doesn't do that it's just like applying deep conditioner and the you know the awful smell when i was pouring the dye the, the awful smell is no longer there so yeah so i'm just going to have this on my hair and wait for 20 minutes then come back and then apply it on my roots so it's been 20 minutes and i don't know if you can tell but my hair is a bit brown my roots are darker than up here see and on the box of the dye i just read it right now and it says you shouldn't dye your eyebrows <laughs> i already dyed my eyebrows anyway i mean they still look dark so i'm just going to apply the remaining mixture to my roots and then I'm starting from the back.
applying the dye the hair dye to my hair and I'm just going to wait for the box says to wait for 20 to 25 minutes so that is what I'm going to do it looks it looks okay as of now I like I like how the color is turning out I don't know how my roots are going to look like after I'm done bleaching but yeah I'm just going to wait for 20 to 25 minutes and then I'll show you guys the end result after I've washed and conditioned my hair so guys this is what my hair is looking like right now I just finished washing it this is what my roots looks like it looks pretty nice my eyebrows are also the same color my eyelashes did not bleach <laughs> but this is what my hair is looking like let me show you what the back looks like this is what the back looks like but i'm just glad that i did not like add this lightest blonde to the dark brown color i bought before i like this color i like how my hair turned out but anyway that is it for my video thank you guys so much for watching and if you did like this video <laughs> please don't forget to subscribe like and comment and i'll see you in my next